The Bible cannot be stopped. In the 1500s, Bibles didn't exist in most languages. Only well-educated or wealthy people could study it in Hebrew, Greek, or Latin. But a scholar named William Tyndale was convinced that everyone deserved to have access to Scripture. And so he began to translate it into his language, English. Many authorities were against this idea and other beliefs Tyndale had, so he fled England and later smuggled his New Testaments back into his home country. For nine years, Tyndale evaded arrest while continuing to work on the first English translation of the Bible. But eventually, he was captured, condemned for heresy, and burned at the stake. Tyndale's determination sparked a movement to see the Bible made accessible in language familiar to everyday people. And nearly 100 years later, change happened. The King James Bible became available in English, a version that used a lot of Tyndale's work in the initial release. Over time, England was transformed by the Bible. Revivals and awakenings took place, missionary movements were born, and organizations dedicated to Bible translation were formed. Scripture revived a nation, but revival started when early English translators believed everyone should have access to God's Word, and they did something about it. How does the courage of early Bible translators inspire you? Right now, reflect on what Tyndale went through, and then, ask God to clarify what steps you can take to share Scripture with those around you. Maybe it's sending a verse to someone, or maybe it's giving to a Bible translation project. Whatever it is, consider how different your life would look if you didn't have access to God's Word, and then be a catalyst for change in someone else's life. But the Word of God grew and multiplied, and Barnabas For no word from God shall be void of power. And Mary said, 